The war for the internet has begun, and we're still early. There are two major ways that you can make money in Web3, by identifying opportunities and investing in them, or by actually building in Web3. Those who help build this space, getting in on the ground floor, will be the most rewarded. And this could range from something as simple as being a service provider like content creation, or all the way up to building your own app that could help millions of people. The path is completely up to you. So today we're going to discuss some of the biggest opportunities in Web3. But first, what is Web3? Experts seem to use this as a sandwich term to encompass anything having to do with blockchain technology, you know, NFTs, DeFi, the metaverse, and DAOs, without ever really defining it. The central theme seems to be decentralization of the internet. Cutting out middlemen, giving users control over their own data, more transparency, and allowing small businesses to compete with the tech giants that rule the incumbent Web 2.0 empire. And well, the ideas are catching on. So for my own benefit, and of course yours, I wanted to search for the best opportunities in this space and break them down. So how do you set up your Web3 business? Well, you can establish them like a traditional business, create an LLC, do some paperwork. Something else is picking up in popularity, the DAO. This is best described as an internet community with a shared bank account. By now, you've probably heard a lot about these high APY staking and lending DAOs, you know, like Spartacus DAO, Olympus DAO. I'm not referring to these projects. A DAO is simply an organization that uses blockchain technology to collectively manage assets, grow a portfolio, and allow all members within the DAO to vote on the direction of the community. And I think this will breed an entirely new method for money management and people management, as long as the SEC doesn't decide to stop it. You can use a service like Morales or Aragon to create a DAO in 10 minutes. This will allow you to set up your organization on an existing blockchain and start making decisions using tokenized participation. For this, you'll need an Ethereum node, MetaMask, and some Rinkby test Ethereum. QuickNode has a great step-by-step -step guide on how to use Aragon to create your own DAO. That'll be linked in the description below. But the end result is that you can start investing in NFTs, digital assets, or potentially even physical assets using your new DAO, which can have many more benefits than if you were to go ahead and invest solo. The more members you bring into your DAO, the more capital you have to work with, which means more opportunity for your investment group to gain more assets with voting rights awarded based on contribution size. This could breed an entirely new kind of hedge fund manager, and it's surprisingly cheap to get started. Maintaining an Ethereum node can be as cheap as 20 cents per hour. But by the end of the day, your capital and subsequent opportunities will depend on the contributions of the members within the DAO. A notable example is the group Pleaser DAO that bought the Wu-Tang Clan album Once Upon a Time in Shaolin for $4 million. You might not have $4 million, but you can always put small amounts of capital into smaller investments like NFTs and work your way up from there. You could even start something like this with your buddies in your group chat and just see where it takes you. In order to become a millionaire with this, it may mean managing assets, or finding an investment with massive returns, or maybe even finding out that you can help existing DAOs in managing their people. Managing people is messy and DAOs will need this. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a rise of DAO community managers in the future. Now from here, I need to pay the bills and thank my channel sponsor KuCoin. With KuCoin, you can trade more than 400 cryptos, use their variety of trading bots, and even lend out your cryptos for passive income. I've used this app for a long time now, and I've personally earned more than $20,000 in interest this year on KuCoin. I'll have them linked in the description for discounted trading fees along with a tutorial on how to use the site. The next opportunity is in play to earn games. Titles like Axie Infinity and The Sandbox have attracted developers from all around the world to the crypto space. And making money from NFT games could be a lot more interesting than just waiting for an investment to go up. But the bear to entry for some could be too much. For example, it can cost you over $1,000 just to buy your starting Axie NFTs and that's before you even consider paying more to power up and breed your axes. However, now you can open up your own NFT rental cooperative, also known as a scholarship program. With this, you can earn passive income on NFTs that you already own by helping others who can't yet afford to enter the space. So what do you need to get started? Well, it usually starts with some kind of entry ticket, like buying a special NFT. You can consider this like the price of admission. One company dominating the space is ReNFT. They allow long-term holders to get special benefits by lending their holdings to 
to a smart contract for an agreed upon rental fee and fixed time period. It's a project that just had a funding round led by Animoca Brands, but it could be worth so much more if the crypto gaming industry continues to boom in 2022, as one of the Reddit co-founders seems to believe. So with NFT games, there are two major opportunities right now. The first is identifying the best opportunities to invest in the space, and the second is actually building something within the space. There's so much money flowing into this right now, and so few usable or even fun games that there's this massive discrepancy between money and what's actually there. And in order to become a millionaire in this space is a matter of just assessing the need. Maybe this is developer tools. Maybe it's social media management of NFT projects. Maybe it's a better marketplace. The point is, that in a hundred billion dollar space that's brand new, you don't need a very big slice of the pie to make a million or $10 million. Next is one of the biggest potential disruptions brought about by Web 3.0, how content creators make money. In Web 2.0, most creators have to work within what's known as the attention economy, where in order to make money, creators need to get as many eyeballs on their content as possible in order to earn that juicy ad revenue. And if you've been around for the past 10 years, you'll know that creators will do just about anything for those eyeballs, for that attention. Right now, content creators have to abide by each platform's terms of service in order to then monetize their work. And they're really constrained by those terms of service and the algorithms that run these applications. In Web 3.0, creators will be able to utilize peer-to-peer -peer technology to receive direct compensation for their content. There are already a few platforms testing this out. Platforms like Flixo or Theta allow creators to upload videos and earn tokens for every view or share on those videos. And this results in a content ecosystem where rewards are shared between creators and viewers. This is particularly the case for Theta. The network uses blockchain tech to share their excess bandwidth in order to improve the video experience for all users. It's still in its early stages, but these platforms are now open for new signups from eager content creators looking to try it out and be on the, the wave of this new technology. And again, this opportunity is twofold. You could either make content and aim to be on the forefront of this new wave, or you could help build the technology to help assist the transition. This could be creator tools, wallets, or a better viewing system, really the opportunity here are endless. Even something as simple as content creation can make you a millionaire. And here are a few tips that have helped me grow an audience. First is focus on value. People will always watch if you're providing real value. And I'm not talking about watching five videos on a topic and just ripping off the content. I'm talking about actually doing the work to find answers that others aren't finding, others aren't talking about. The second is think long term. If you put the audience first long enough, you will see growth. I've seen far too many content creators get a little bit of success and then let greed ruin their content. And third, be willing to fail for a long time. My channel is currently one of the highest viewed in all of finance. However, that was not always the case. Take a look at this. I went over a year of consistently posting more than 40% of my entire YouTube career without seeing any traction whatsoever. If I gave up anywhere along that way, we would not be here today. You would not be watching this video. And the best part is this space is only getting larger. Now, next up, let's talk about marketing. Advertising is a behemoth of an industry. Just take a look at the advertising revenue of Google and Facebook. That pair, along with Alibaba, TikTok, and Amazon, made up nearly half of all global advertising revenue in 2021, a share worth a lofty $296 billion. Now, it looks like the tech oligarchs are going to retain their lead over the rest of the advertising world for at least the next five years, but blockchain tech is coming along to challenge how business is done. Brands like Taco Bell, McDonald's, and Asics have each minted their own NFTs in the last year. And these NFTs represent real rewards for holders like electronic gift cards or physical products tied to the NFTs that they purchase. If you can market yourself well, you could reach out to companies and your NFT designs could get picked up for a pretty penny. And you wouldn't have to start huge with like McDonald's either. You could reach out to a local business that you want to support, create a collection of NFTs that represent the brand well, and then your client could even develop a full campaign around that art 
which is then tied to real world value, which ultimately makes much more sense for NFTs as opposed to just a JPEG that does nothing. There has to be some tangible value in the long run. So one strategy would be to create a gamified campaign where rewards are given to players for fulfilling certain milestones. So think like scavenger hunts, but with NFTs. As for price, you can expect to pay around $70 in gas fees if and when you mint your NFTs on Ethereum, but this can vary based on project size and other blockchains are cheaper than Ethereum. Or you go the more ambitious route and try to create a platform that assists NFT projects in connecting with real world value, like an NFT liaison, if you will. If you partner with companies who are willing to partner with NFTs and create that real world value, maybe like exclusive tickets or exclusive deals, I could see a huge opportunity in that space, bringing actual value to NFTs. Now, if you really want to shake up the web 3.0 space, another opportunity lies in artificial intelligence. And the good news is that there are a ton of cost effective solutions out there that you can use right now. Right now is the cheapest ever to use and create your own AI. If you're new to this space, I'd suggest familiarizing yourself with machine storytelling as this is a key component of how video games will be developed in the future. See, the open world games of Web 3.0 won't be created exactly like your favorite RPGs where you have writers, developers, and artists crafting a full 40 hour experience for you to chip away at on your PlayStation. Instead, you might see games that slowly build themselves based on user interaction and feedback. Roguelike games, for example, are all about beating fresh, randomly generated levels and dungeons. So in other words, in-game environments that only occur once, never to be repeated. This kind of unique, spontaneous creation will be normal in the world of Web 3.0, and we're already seeing it happen with projects like Epic's MetaHumans, where hyper-realistic CGI characters that are pretty freaky are generated in mere minutes, as opposed to the months it would take to handcraft a character like this. And you can even try this for yourself. So here's a service called Shortly AI. I'm gonna tell it to write a story outline about a man named Max. You can see the AI comes up with a story about a band of psychic drug dealers who help my family. I had nothing to do with this story except say make a story about a man named Max. And you can see how this could be placed in a game. We're already living in the future and we're only scratching the surface of what's possible. Now, as I mentioned, it doesn't even cost that much money. This service is about 80 bucks a month and they have a free trial. I'll have it linked in the description if you wanna mess around with it, it's pretty freaky. And you can go even further and start creating your very own AI. However, of course, there is a bit of a learning curve here, especially if you aren't already well-versed in programming, but today is as good a time as any to start. And either way, there are opportunities that are endless with this technology. You could use it for content writing or storytelling, or you go even deeper and help serve businesses through supply chain assistance or help build AI-powered DeFi services. Again, there will be leaders in all of these industries and the time is now to grab the market and take it for your own. Web 3.0 is without a doubt changing the very fabric of the internet. And it's exciting to picture how your own business could fit within this new ecosystem. Looking beyond crypto tokens, DeFi derivatives, and even NFTs in your wallet, it's still pretty up in the air what this new Web 3.0 thing could truly bring. And the best use cases likely haven't even been thought of yet. It's nearly impossible to predict what's next, but if history is any indicator, it'll be the early movers that define what Web3 will be. And the purpose of this video is to prompt you to think about how you could personally benefit from this fundamental change. So ask yourself, what expertise do I have or can I learn that could be implemented in Web3? From here, I recommend checking out this video on how to make passive income with yield farming, another very, very exciting aspect of DeFi and fascinating topic altogether. I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.